You're watching Mental Health with Marcy, and I'm Marcy. Today's video, we are going to be reviewing wellness boxes. We've got three of them here, and so we're just curious, you know, are these worth buying? What kind of items are even in these boxes? Um, two of them are mystery boxes, so I have no idea what's in there. The other one, I don't remember, because it was a while ago that I ordered these. Um, but yeah, we're going to be looking at wellness boxes today. So let us get into the first box. So this is our first wellness box. It's from a brand called Zuclain. All of these I bought on Amazon. For reference, we are going from least expensive to most expensive. Some of them are subscription boxes that you can get every month. This one was a one-time box. And so in this one, was not a mystery box and that you were able to see the items beforehand um, that you purchased. So let us see what I ordered. It's been a minute. So first things first, we have it is a My Mental Breakdown Cup. That is so cool. It's got all these little sayings on it. Um, I'm doing the best thing. It's okay to cry. I don't need to smile when I don't want to. I don't need to compare myself to others. This is really cool. Just like a little tumbler with all these different little um, patterns on it. So that's fun. So that's one thing we got. What else we got in here? I don't know how many items was supposed to be in this box. I think some of the others had specific items, but let's see. Aroma Luxury Candle. Let's see what that looks like. It says it's okay to take a break. This nice little candle here. It's kind of like a smaller size. Oh, I don't know if I like that. I'm so bad at describing <laughs> scents, so I don't know. I think I'd have to see it like on. I don't know what it smells like. I'm on the fence about it, but it's cute. So I'll give it that. What else we got in here? Oh, this is just like empty packaging. Yeah, just empty packaging. I guess it's just to like fill it up so the stuff doesn't rattle around. Um, and this one again, it like told you what was in it. So it's not like you're getting scammed out of something. So we'll see. I'm just curious, like with this kind of stuff, like what kind of self-care stuff? Like, is this just going to be like a bunch of bubble bath stuff? Like, is this actually going to be something that helps with mental health? Like, what are our thoughts here? So this one is a little bracelet. It says, has a little card that comes with it. This is the card. It, the card says, little reminders, you are enough. It is okay to have bad days. Don't believe everything you think. Be kinder to yourself and you are very loved. And this is the bracelet. I mean, the bracelet is just kind of like a standard bracelet. Nothing, I don't know if you can even see it. Um, nothing crazy. Just kind of, it's got a little heart on it, but it doesn't really have anything related to mental health. And then we also have a little keychain that I'm going to drop on the ground. Hello, dog. We also have some dog footprints because uh, she's wondering what we're doing. Hi, Rayleigh. Do you need to be in the, oh, you do need to be in the video. Hello. Is this, do we need this dog? She says, I want to see what in the box. There's nothing good in here for you. you well, maybe you want the candle. Does it smell good? Oh, shit. I, she licked it. What did I expect was gonna happen? Okay, that's, that's fine. That's fine, maybe I'll just, yeah. Everything's fine. So anyway, trying to open this. We'll see what happens. Okay, so this one is the same little, um, the same little reminders, but it's in a little keychain. You are enough. It's okay to have bad days. Stuff like that. So a little keychain. And then our last item in the box. It looks like it has the same little little reminders on it. And this looks like it is a little, I don't know what you call it, just a little like decoration. It kind of looks like a coaster. Um, 
and then you put it on this little stand, I assume, so it can stand up. Um, hi, Rayleigh. She's like underneath. She's like down here. She's also not helping. She never helps. But anyway, yeah, you can put it on here. I assume. Oh, probably the other direction. Can you even fit this in here? <laughs> Is this just a Marcy problem that I can't figure out how to fit this in here? I guess it does fit. I'm just like, problem. Oh, well, she's laying in her bed. Her bed's over there. Well, you can't see her because she's out of frame. But anyway, yes, you put it on this little, little stand here and then you can um, see it. So yeah, I mean, it's a pretty, I think it's a pretty good haul. I mean, we've got a car cup, our little stand, a dog licked candle, a little, um, bracelet and a little keychain. I mean, if you're interested in this kind of like little reminders, like phrases of you are enough, it's okay to have bad days, that kind of stuff. I think this could be a cute little thing to put on your desk. I mean, the keychain and bracelet, I can kind of take or leave, but I really like the cup. I think the cup is something like you could use a lot. So I would say these are probably my two favorite items out of this box. And I mean, was it worth $27? This cup was probably worth like $10, so I don't know that it was worth $27, but um, it's a cute little set, and so um, yeah, happy I got it. So let us go on to box number two. So our second box is called Therabox, and so this one I believe you can get either as a one-time box or as a subscription. I got this um, just as a one-time box and it was $45. It was a mystery box, so I have no idea what's inside it. It has just been sitting here being unopened for a long time. Um, so yeah, let's see what's inside it. It does have some words on the box. It says unbox happiness, ingredients to happiness. This little quote on the back, self care is giving the world the best of you instead of what's left of you. So it's a cute little box, I will say. Um, I'm pleased with that. I have pretty high hopes. You know, based on the last one that, you know, it was fine, but this one is like significantly more expensive. So I'm curious if this is worth it. Um, and so, yeah, it claims to have eight products um, in here. And so we'll see if that is true or not and see if they're worth it. Oh, this is cute. It's got like a little treat yourself and it's like really like nice packaging again. I mean, this is like something you would get like for yourself or for like, a loved one is kind of like a gift type of thing. So let us see. Okay, we are, uh, what I was wondering if we were just gonna get a bunch of bath salts. So we do have some CBD soaking salts. So we do have some bath stuff already, but I've never tried these before. Not too much in here. It just is approximately one use per pack. Um, but yeah, some bath stuff to start. What else do we have in here? We have, ooh, I have no idea what these are. Centered Well-Being Ritual Mini Balms, Por Portable Aromatherapy. Let's take these out. I don't even know what that means. It's in a really nice little like case. It's got like this cool little design on it. Um, yeah, I've never heard of like, I mean, obviously I've heard of aromatherapy, but I've never heard of these little balms. Oh, are these like chapsticks? No, I think you're supposed to just put them... It says apply to pulse points, wrists, and temples. Okay, so there's just these cute, they're like, they look like mini chopsticks, but I don't think you're supposed to put them on your lips. But yeah, we've got happy, focus, de-stress, sleep well, and escape. So these are cute. That's a cute little thing. I've never seen that concept before, so I'm pretty pleased um, so far with what we've got. We've got two of our items, and yeah, this looks Seems pretty quality, so that's good. What do we have next? We have some, whoa, it's called Daisy Toner. I hope there's instructions. Uh, I don't know, what do you use like toner for? <laughs> there's no instructions, it just says, this super floral toner is based on traditional herbal medicine, and then it just says to gently purify, tone, hydrate, and soften the skin. So yeah, it's got these like little flower thingies like floating around. So that's kind of cool. I mean, I don't really know what you use toner for because I'm not like a beauty guru, but 
it's nice looking anyway. So that's cool. We got, unfortunately, a bunch of this. It is recyclable, I guess, but I hate, I think it's just to fill up the box, but I hate Easter grass. So I'm just going to throw it on my ground. That seems like a good idea. Okay, what else we have? We have uh, organic skincare, exfoliate and hydrate, bubbles and honey sugar scrub. So like a, like a body scrub. We'll have to smell this one too. Looks like it should be uh, some sort of honey. Let's see if I can smell it through here. Oh, that smells good. I think. It's hard because it's like, it's still um, sealed. So I'm trying to smell it through the seal. But yeah, that's good. So yeah, we've got a little... Little body scrub to go with our bath salts. So that's our first four products. Then we got um, what else? Let me get this open. Some sort of oh, a hand sanitizer. OBC Skin Zesty Morning Hand Sanitizer. What does that mean? Morning hand sanitizer. Does that mean like you can only use it in the morning? Yeah, it's just hand sanitizer. I don't know. Maybe that's the brand or something. I mean, it just smells like hand sanitizer. So maybe that's the scent. But anyway, got some hand sanitizer. I don't know what that has to do with wellness. I mean, maybe if you're just like, I want to not have a bunch of germs on me. But yeah, that's what one, two, it's five products so far. We've got a bath uh, or no birthday cake body butter. So that's kind of fun. So again, in the kind of like bath skin care, it's kind of like multicolored. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it's got like some pink and everything. So yeah, I got some body butter, birthday cake. And we also got Moxie Clarifying Red Clay Mask. So um, like a face mask. So yeah, the packaging isn't all that exciting. You can't really see much, but it is a face mask. So yeah, we've got a lot of... Um, like skincare products. And then the last item, um, which actually that's already one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that is seven. The last item is in the heart of the light poetry of awakening. Um, it looks like it is like a poem book. So kind of about like mental health stuff by Ashley Lord. Well, that's kind of cool. It comes with a little book. Let's see. Let's read. Let's just read a random one just for fun. I'll read a short one. Okay. What's a good one? I have no idea because I haven't <laughs> read this. Okay. Sitting here in the space between breaths, channeling words of luminance, of warmth, moving the energy. I'm not much of a poetry gal myself, so I feel like I'm not gonna like rate this poetry book because I have no idea about poetry but for someone who's maybe interested in poetry that would be good but yeah so far we've got um a lot of I would say a lot of like bath products and like skincare you know we've got the clay mask the um, body butter the scrub the toner so a lot of these just what I'm gonna call like they seem like women's like bath and beauty beauty and bath, whatever, those kind of products. And then hand sanitizer is kind of like out there. And then um, we also got the aromatherapy little balms. And so I would say probably um, with this box, I think it was maybe worth the $45. I'm not really sure like how expensive these brands are. Oh, there's one more thing in here. I forgot. I just saw it now. Watermelon. What is a lipsicle? I don't know what a lipstick is. I assume it's just like chapstick. Okay. Yeah, I missed it because it was small. Yeah, it's just like a, it's just like a little, a little chapstick. So, yeah. So that's what, that's what that is. A little watermelon scented chapstick. But yeah, I think a lot of this is kind of like, just like bath and bath products and stuff. Um, but my favorite is definitely the, um, the little aromatherapy scented things. Um, I think that's a cool concept just to like be able to just rub it on you versus like, you know, who's going to want to carry oils around. And if you're really into that, um, it's in a cute little case too. I mean, you probably just put one, um, in your purse or whatever, but yeah. So yeah, I don't know if this box was hundred percent worth it. I don't know 
if it's really wellness or if it's just spa related, but I mean, it did have the book and it did have the aromatherapy. So I will call this one a win. So let us get into our final and most expensive box. And this is our final box. It is called the Red Box of Mental Wellness. Don't know why it's called that. Um, more than just a self-care subscription box. It's self-love in a box. And so this box, from what I gathered, um, was only available via subscription. So I did have to sign up for this via Amazon and then they canceled it right away after I got this box. Um, it does have a little nice thank you sticker. Looks like it's, it says it's a small business anyway. Thank you for supporting my small business. So we'll open that up and let us see. This one also has kind of a, um, a cuter packaging again, because it's kind of like aimed to be a subscription box, kind of like a nice gift to yourself or um, a loved one every month. And so it has a little thing. It says pretty things inside. Got some nice tissue paper. Let's see. Okay, we've got a note. Oh, it, I don't know if this is handwritten or not, or if it's just printed on here, but it's just says, Dear Marcy, we hope you enjoy your box. So that was like a custom note. Oh no, we've got more of this, more of this like paper stuff. It does have these little hearts in it. I don't know, I guess because it's like red. It's got these little hearts. It's hard to see, but anyway, these little hearts in there as well. We'll just throw that on the ground because why not? Um, okay, so the first thing we have is a coloring book. Let's get this open. It is Fantasy Fairy Homes. And so it's got like, let me show you. It's got, I don't know, like, I guess it's just like a coloring book is good, like mental wellness. These are like, I don't know, this looks like difficult to color. So it's got a lot of like shading on it, but anyway. That is, um, that is one item in here. I don't recall it. I don't think it said which, what it was. Um, here is, um, our next little item. It doesn't, I don't know what it is yet. Um, I don't think it, it said specifically about wellness, but anyway, we've got some bubbles with some hearts on it. I guess I, I think I bought this in January, so I don't know if this was like for, um, yeah, it says Happy Valentine's Day, <laughs> this little sucker. Okay, suckers and bubbles are kind of a throwaway in my opinion. Um, we've got Urea Cream Hand and Foot Care Cream. Okay, so we're kind of on the um, uh, path of the like spa stuff. So let's see. I mean, it looks nice. I mean, I'm not familiar with this specific cream or anything, but you know, just another bath product. Um, we've got a book. It's called A Path to Purpose, Seven Inspired Stories to Discover Your True North. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, something about like spirituality, personal growth, healing. So yeah, I don't know it's any good or not obviously because I just got it but um but yeah it did come with a book what else we got in here um got another one of these little things this is just a mess there's like stuff everywhere <laughs> this is a disaster um we've got some pens looks like something like I love coffee I don't know this is like some of these things this just kind of seems like throwaway stuff but um I don't know, you guys can let me know in the comments. They're just some little pens. It's not like specifically around mental health and wellness, but um, we'll see. What is this? Oh, is this like a little scrapbooking set? Um, I don't really want to open it and get stuff everywhere, but yeah, it looks like kind of like a little vintage scrapbooking set. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It doesn't like, it's none of it's in English. So <laughs> what well, says return to the ancients, whatever that means. Um, but yeah, kind of random. Um, 
I don't know if it's just like a little book in here or what, but anyway, kind of random. Let's see what else is in here. And then um, this is some glue tape. Okay, this book sucked. Does anyone agree? Like, is it just me? Um, this was not worth $55. When I did go look, um, or $54, yeah, there's nothing else in the box. Um, there was, like, the listing wasn't available anymore, and, like, probably because no one wanted to buy this, because, like, literally, like, how is glue tape, like, a wellness item? And so, like, this is random, the glue tape. Some random vintage scrapbooking stuff, random some pens. Yeah, like, I guess, like, the book is okay, and, like, a, a sucker, and, like, some foot cream. Like, I don't know. I'm just, like, I'm not a fan of this. Probably, of all the things, I would say, of this box, my favorite is the coloring book, but even that, like, it's just, like, why? This is, like, you know what this feels like? It just, like, feels like all dollar stuff, dollar store stuff, just, like, packaged up and um put at a 54 dollar monthly price point so no you could buy all this stuff and way more for like way less than 54 bucks so i'm not too happy with this one um but yeah let me get into my final review and thoughts <laughs> and here are my final thoughts on these wellness boxes okay so First of all, were any of them worth it? Um, not really, in my opinion. Like I said, like, I really liked this cup. And so, but even then, like, would I pay? I mean, I guess you could say it was worth, like, 20 bucks. But, I mean, I don't think it's probably worth that much. So, it's like, I don't know that the whole box was worth $27. So, if you could find and search for something, just, like, the specific item that you liked, I think that would be more worth your money and then also these quote-unquote mystery boxes like there was like maybe a couple good things in there but definitely not worth your money so if you're going to go out and get some sort of like wellness or self-care box for someone else or yourself I would recommend picking out like one like that was in this box was the first box the plain one that really had like the description of everything um, that was in there and had pictures. And so you really know what you're getting because honestly, like the last box, the most expensive one was like a complete, I don't want to say scam because I did get the stuff, but definitely a rip off. Um, and even the like Thera box, the middle one, I was like not a super fan of. And so I just had my three favorite items here, like one from each box. But yeah, I'm just like, I'm pretty disappointed in these boxes overall, especially by, like, the sheer amount of bath products. But, like, what was I expecting? What was going to be in a women's wellness box? Like, we just like to take baths, right? And so, I don't know what I was expecting. Again, like, there's some, some gems in there, but definitely not something I would recommend. Again, unless you're, like, looking at the specific items and you're, like, this person that I'm getting it for definitely would like these items or... I would really like these items. I definitely wouldn't sign up for some type of subscription box. But if you know any like wellness subscription boxes that are actually really good, let me know in the comments down below because I would like love to be proven wrong. These are just the three I found on Amazon. I'm sure there's like small businesses out there that do a great job and that, you know, it's much, it's worth it. And it's not just a bunch of like random junk. Um, but yeah, let me know um, your thoughts about this video, the concept of wellness boxes have you ever gotten one before has anyone ever gifted you one um when you're going through a hard time um let me know so anyway thank you so much for watching and stay well my friends